Yo, what's up guys? It's Chipolo over here and today we are going to Norway. <laughs> I found this video and I thought, hey, it would be interesting to, you know, look into Nor Norway's extraordinary summer house. This is an amazing house and I haven't seen this video yet, but I saw the picture and I was like, what? If I had, you know, if the, the thing, the idea behind this video is if I had conditions <laughs> to buy a summer house, where would I go to? And um, real estate is one of my great interests. Um, I live in London right now, but hey, who knows? I can buy a summer house or invest in the future. I don't know. I don't know yet. But <laughs> um, there is no harm in dreaming big, right? Right? So... We're starting with Norway because they saw this video, but here's a question. If you could buy any house or um, if you could travel anywhere and have a summer house, you know, just invest in real estate, what would you do or where would you go? <laughs> Let me know in the comments. Let's have some fun. Okay, so let's look at this extraordinary summer house um, in Norway. This is Summer House. Look at that. It's <laughs> quite incredible, actually. This is a BBC it's video. It's isn't it? It's like a grown-up's treehouse, really, isn't it? I mean, I think a complex site, steeply sloping, with a view in the trees, for me, personally, is perfect. I want to go and find out how it actually stands up here. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> that is some crazy architecture. There's no road access here. But hopefully, the house will be worth the hike. Ah, uh, I don't know. I can't see myself living there. What about you guys? This is something else. Look at that. I've seen houses built into rock, but this is the first rock I've ever seen that's built into a house. That is insane. Scott's is that a fireplace? One of the most exciting rooms I've ever been in. And not at all what I expected. Just look at that. It doesn't really look cozy though. And the fact that it just slides into that concrete fireplace. But this is incredible. This rock, you can see the strata all the way through, and it acts as a back plate here on the fire, so the heat will bounce off into the room. This is so thrilling to be in. It's really, um, it's a work of art. It's in the bedroom pod where you really feel the sensation of living in the tree canopy. And with no curtains, one could easily spot the Vikings coming up the fjord in their longboat. Not so much a bedroom, more a nest. Look at my nest in the trees. She looks so calm. I like the way she talks. Bird in here, just sitting up in the treetops. I'd love to wake up here. It's like Hear story time. Song and the sunlight filtering through the pines. How confident are there are they Just that nobody's going to see them take a bath? Summer ah, house is a really elemental home. I don't trust it. The site is very natural and untamed. The architect has used basic materials including glass, concrete and steel very delicately and in a way that redefines what a house and a room can be. So fixated on what a room is, my living wow, room. Wow, that's a it's beautiful fireplace. Door into it. 
This doesn't have four walls or a door into it. It's a completely different sort of space. I mean, it's saying a lot, this house, but what does this house say about Norwegian architecture? It says that you don't always have to hark back to an idea about the past and a vernacular. It says that to be specific and rooted in one context, you can just respond to the actual fabric of the geography. And there you have a truly Norwegian house because it couldn't be anywhere else. Wow. Okay, Norway has a very distinct way of um, building buildings. <laughs> Guys, if I had the money and, you know, if I, I could invest in real estate, I don't know where I would go. I'm trying to find out. I think I'm going to start this new series of trying to find out <laughs> where I could travel to. I'm already doing travel videos, so I would like to to see how these houses are all over the world. I don't know. I just saw this video and I was like, hey, let's let's dream a little bit. <laughs> what did you guys think of the house? Would you buy it? Would you not buy it? Would you invest in, in, a, in a second house, in a summer house? You know, there are many opportunities out there that I have seen people say hey buy a house in in the north of spain or the south of spain or the south of italy houses like very cheap houses and i don't know i ha I, I i i have never had the courage nor the money to go and buy a house in the south of uh, a foreign country just for luxury you know just so that i could have well of course if you have like a place to go to on the holidays, it, it will serve for your peace of mind and you can just run away for, for a second or two. But still, um, it depends on the investment, I think. Um, I've always been very keen on, on investments and I always have been very careful with my with my savings and, you know, and real estate, I have been trying to invest in real estate, but um, I've just barely scratched the surface. I, I still need to work a lot and try to buy my first commercial house. You know, I don't know. I'm thinking of the future. Hey, it doesn't hurt to dream big, huh? Who knows in the future, I will have something that I can talk about and show you guys and say, hey, this is my property that I bought. I don't know. I mean, we got to work for it, right? And I've been working here on YouTube. I've been working off YouTube. And I think I, I just need a little bit more of education. And I thought, hey, why not start, you know, watching videos with you guys about um, the financial market, maybe real estate. I don't know. It's a fun way of traveling and learning. Let me know if you guys are interested. It's a new idea. It's a new concept. Let me know in the comments, okay? Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.